Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this fun look using BH Cosmetics new Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Uh, this is a very very fun palette. It is super super colorful. Let's see, you get 35 shades in this palette. I guess this is a sister to their Take Me to Brazil palette. And you get a nice little mirror up there. I do not own the first palette. This is actually only my second BH Cosme Cosmetics purchase. I have the Carly Bible palette, so I'm really super into bright colors. So I decided to go ahead and pick this one up and give it a try. And I absolutely loved it. Uh, the colors are super pigmented. Um, there's a lot of glittery shades in here. They don't look at it, sort look like it when you sort of first, you know, look at it there. But they are um, a little glittery. But I didn't see it affect my look too much. I decided to do a super colorful look to test out, you know, the super bright colors. I worked mainly over here on this side of the palette, and. So this is what I came up with using the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I hope you like it. It's super bright, super fun, maybe not the most wearable look, but I really, like I said, I really wanted to try the super bright colors that were in here. So uh, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started on that tutorial. So I already primed my eyes using the Tarte's Lid Lock Eye Base. I've been really liking this lately, however, just be very careful. It is very, very dry, so if you already have you know, dry eyelids, this might not be the eye primer for you. So next I'm going to be picking up the BH Cosmetics Palette. and. On my Wet n Wild crease brush, I'm going to be picking up this color right here. And I'm going to be applying that all over my crease and slightly above my crease. And I'm taking it from the outer corner all the way into the inner corner and really buffing it out in the edge here. I want it to be really blown out. Next, on my Morphe R37, I'm going to be picking up this color right here, and I'm going to be applying this a little bit lower in my crease. Next, with my Morphe M433, I'm going to be picking up this color down here in the corner which is a bit of a deeper pink color. And I'm going to be applying this just directly to my crease. And then next on my Morphe my Morphe M506. I'm going to be taking this deep purple shade right here and I'm going to be taking this and I'm going to be applying this directly into my crease. I'm just going right into the outer part of my crease here and about halfway in. And I'm just going to wing it out just a little bit there. Next, I'm going to go ahead and cut out my crease using my NYX eyeshadow base in white and a Wet n Wild concealer brush, I believe it is.
Next I'm going to take my Morphe E36 and I'm going to be picking up this yellow shade right here. And this I'm going to be packing right on to the inner third of my eye. And then using that same brush, I'm just going to go ahead and clean it off. I'm going to be picking up the shade right next to the yellow. I'm going to pick up this bright orange shade. And I'm going to be packing that on the center portion of my lid. I'm just gonna <laughs> clean the orange off of my brush there. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend the yellow and the orange color together. Then using that same Morphe E36, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the color right next to the orange and this is deep red color and I'm going to go ahead and pack that onto the outer third of my eye. I'm just going to go ahead and clean my brush off again and blend the orange and the red to blend that line out there between the orange and the red. And then I'm going to go ahead back in with all three colors and just re-intensify them from the blending. And then using my Morphe M149, I'm going to be picking up this white shade down here in the bottom corner, and I'm going to be using that to highlight my brow bone. Just very, very lightly. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face off camera and my eyeliner and I'll be right back to go ahead and finish up the eyes. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and now we're going to go ahead and finish up my eyes. I went ahead and I did my liner and I tight lined using the Bare Minerals Round the Clock Midnight Eyeliner. Mine is very well loved. It's getting down there. And I did my wing using the Bare Minerals Lash Domination uh, Ink Liner. And now finishing up the under eye, I'm going to go ahead in with the shade, this purple shade here that we used in the crease. And I'm going to use that on an M432 and I'm going to be applying that directly under my lower lash line, really tight against it. And I'm just going to apply that about two thirds of the way in. Then using my Morphe M149, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this this deeper pink shade here and I'm going to use that to blend out this purple on my lower lash line and 
I'm going to take that one all the way into the inner corner. Then using that same Morphe M149, I'm going to pick up the same shade here, here that I highlighted my brow bone with. And I'm going to use that to go ahead and highlight my inner corners. Also, all the other products that I used on my face will be listed in the description box. And that is the completed look. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.